And I thought fonts were going to be easy. I, I had seen Butler Lampson playing around with, with uh, fonts at Xerox Park. He was sitting at a terminal, and uh, he had a big letter B up on it. I can you know, so, sort of visualize it now, and he was uh, you know, drawing splines around the edge. And I had, in my art class project, I had done a, a, a project for Matt Kahn where it taught me about splines. So I knew how to program splines, and so I and so so I so I thought, okay, I'll just I'll just get my uh, you know I'll, I'll I'll get the letters that are used in the old edition of Art of Computer Programming, and I'll do like the like Butler did, on, you know, and I'll make my font. And it became much more difficult to to do fonts than I than I had expected. Um, in fact, uh, after. Uh, uh, the greatest disappointment, I mean, you were saying the other day that a story has to have moments of tragedy <laughs> as well as success. And the, uh, one of the greatest disappointments in my whole life was the day um, that I received in the mail the new edition of Volume 2 of The Art of Computer Programming, which was typeset with my fonts, and which was the, supposedly the crown, the, to be the crowning moment of my life when when I had, I had succeeded uh, in in uh, with the tech project and this was I think it was in 1981 um, and I had uh, I had gotten uh, I had gotten the best uh, I, I had I had uh, the best typesetting equipment and I write, written all this uh, program for the 8-bit micro processor inside and it had 5,000 plus dots per inch and uh, and all of the proofs that I that I had c coming out looked good on this machine and I and they went over to Addison Wesley and they typeset it and it came in a book and it, and the book but but the, there was the book and it was in the familiar beige color covers and I opened it the book up and I'm thinking you know like this is going to be a nice moment this doesn't look the same it wasn't that bad. I mean, some people, you know, di didn't notice any difference at all. Uh, and, but uh, the worst w was w was the numerals. I had uh, uh, the numbers one, two, three, four, five uh, are re really in a rather different style from letters, and they're very tricky. Uh, and I, but I didn't realize that the, that w when when browsing a book, that's one of the uh, you know our eyes jump. Uh, and, and focus on different parts. And one of the things we focus on most is often when we're using a book is the page number. And the, the numeral, you know, the, the, the two is really ugly, you know, and the six is where there's something about the six that, you know, it's sort of just not, not, not a six. And the fives, is, anyway, I, 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 uh, I got to the point where I was so upset about, you know, I mean, like uh, some of California highway signs, speed limit signs for 50 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour, the five is really ugly. It looks like the five that I used to have. And I mean, I, I, I couldn't live in, in, um, in uh, uh, Santa Rosa because they have uh, uh, lousy fives on their, on, on their speed limit signs in Santa Rosa. <laughs> I mean, it, it just reminds me of this awful time. So, at, so uh, then I went to uh, to all the best type designers in the world, which I had I I'd learned about their I learned some of their names, and and I, I I was able to invite them to to participate in my research project, and I got to meet you know I I got I I, I could see for example that Herman Zab from some of the things he had been written he seemed to be a very open-minded guy, and and uh, so I wrote him a letter you know. You know Introducing myself and saying, "Would you be interested in spending two weeks at Stanford?" And and boy, uh, you know, so he, so he he's the he was the absolute best in the world, and and my my uh, my apprenticeship, uh, uh, you know, uh, he's one of my great teachers. And and as you mentioned, Chuck Bigelow, Chuck Chuck was the dean of typography in America, and so I I worked out to get some do donations to. That we we be able to to uh, hire hire Chuck and have a joint appointment with the art department, and um, uh, I I was glad to find out that after we had gone through the the process of committees and getting the appointments approved by two part two departments and everything, and the week after uh, he had accepted our offer, he received a MacArthur. 
Enterprise Fellowship, uh, which certainly enhanced my credibility too with the, with the uh, art department, because uh, this is a big new thing for them. We never had a joint thing with the art department uh, before. So, so uh, the, uh, uh, I, I brought uh, uh, Matthew Carter, who's, uh, who's considered America's definitely his, the leading type designer in America. There's a great article about him in the New Yorker last year. And, and, and uh, so he was, uh, he was out here for a quarter. And uh, many other visitors uh, and, and the in industry leaders uh, from, from around the world helped me at the time. And, uh, and so finally, by 1986, I was ready to, you know, then I had a type that I could be happy with. And they said to me, Don, that, that's the normal five years apprentice as a type designer. That, that's, the way it, that's the way it goes. Uh, it's, but it, but uh, you know, I, originally I thought it was just going to be a matter of ma making a few measurements, taking a few numbers, and, and, uh, and uh, it, that would be it. 